in this video uh, we will be learning the selling cycle in ERP next the selling cycle is uh, aimed at supplying product to our customers so obviously the product need to be defined so let's check so let's say the product PD was defined and it's available in the item definition also in the item definition uh, for selling cycle to be executed on this product on this item it is must that is sales item is ticked here also uh, the maintained stock is there additionally the selling cycle will execute for a particular customer so customer also need to be defined into the ERP next so you should have a customer defined so for example here we have defined customer 01 and customer 02 and their corresponding parameters so let's start a selling cycle for selling cycle we will go to explore then we'll go to CRM and the selling cycle what I am going to show will start from an opportunity opportunity is where your customer is interested in your product and services so we'll start from there so let's create an opportunity for a particular item and this one uh, opportunity we are creating for let's say customer 01 so we'll say it's customer and from customer 01 we can uh, define a specific item also for a for a uh, opportunity but right now we we'll just keep it as as if the customer is interested in our production services so let's save and save once this opportunity has been created we can follow up on that opportunity we can ask customer are you interested in some of the products and if they say yes they are interested so we can send them a quotation for our product so let's say we are going to send them a quotation for supplying product pd five numbers so i'm going to add the item here so it's a pd and since product PD, it's a quantity of five numbers. And if you have maintained the price list, the price list will be available here. But right now, uh, uh, the the selling price list is not maintained. So otherwise, you can pick up from here, and the rate will come automatically. So right now, I'm going to put a rate, let's say uh, six thousand five hundred rupees, and the total amount will come automatically. Also in the quotation we have to mention taxes and charges on selling uh, the taxes will be CGST and SGST let's say in Indian scenario and let's say the rate is 9% 9% Now <coughs> Once uh, this quotation has been ready, this quotation we can send to customer and once they confirm that yes, the rate and the quantity and the date what we have mentioned is accepted to them and we will receive a confirm purchase order from or confirmation from our customer. Once we receive the confirmation, we can convert this quotation into a sales order. So is the sales order is not to be sent to the customer. It is against the purchase order received from the customer. So as if we are declaring in our system that yes, we have got a confirmation from customer that please supply uh, product PD five numbers. Uh, in the sales order, no other information is required. All the information will be carried forward from the quotation, except I think the delivery date. So let's say we are going to mention delivery date of today's date. Uh, let's save and submit now uh, understand that till this stage in selling cycle everything is in paper there is no material movement happen there is no money movement so we will not see any impact on balance sheet or on PNL however we would like to note down the numbers from the balance sheet and PNL so I will go to the balance sheet account balance sheet 
And let's say in my case, the balance sheet has, let's say bank uh, has 16,470 rupees. Uh, the stock available is 7, uh, stock is of the value 781,500 and the uh, incoming, uh, the tax assets will not change because we are not dealing with the purchase cycle. Uh, on to the liability also, the duties and taxes, yeah, that liability will change. So we have a SGST and CGST of the tune 18,360 each. Also, the current is the profit is 12,000. Uh, this profit is coming from profit and loss account. So let me go and open the PNL <coughs> and note down the numbers here also. So currently, my sales is uh, 2 lakh 4,000, and my cost of goods sold is 192, and accordingly, my profit is 12,000. So along the selling cycle, I'm going to compare these numbers. So let me go back and open the sales order. It should be available here. Or else you can go to the E, Explore and Selling. And in the selling, you see an option called Selling or Sales Order. The sales order will list all the uh, orders, whether completed or not completed. So we have started with this sales order for customer 01. Let me open that sales order. And now, uh, once my items are ready, I can send those items to my customer. So for that, I need a delivery note. See, this delivery note is a document which controls the material movement from company to the outside. Also, uh, the delivery note will be signed by an authorized person. Once you make a delivery note, accordingly, the stock balance will be reduced. So I'm going to click on delivery the information about the product quantity rate tax will come from the sales order so no change is required here i can simply go save and submit now at this stage there is a material movement happen so there will be some impact on to the financial statement that's balance sheet and the profit and loss so let's go and check that so i'll go to the account first i'll check in balance sheet in the balance sheet, since material movement has happened, uh, there is only material movement, though money movement. So my bank account remains same. My stock asset has came down from seven lakh eighty-one thousand to seven lakh fifty-three thousand something. As I told you, the incoming CGST, SGST tax asset will not change. Also, on my SGST, CGST, on the liability side, also not change because we have just supplied the material. We have yet not received any bill confirmation from the customer. So government will not recognize this as a sales that's why the tax liability doesn't come however on uh, pnl side let's check what changes have happened since uh, we have not recognized this material movement as a sales so my sales figure is still same but my cost of goods sold has gone up because the material has gone out and because of that, my total expenses has gone up and my profit also has changed. Now, in this case, it has came to negative. We were at the stage of issuing a delivery note. So let's go ahead from there. So the next stage, when the delivery note is given to the customer along with the material, the customer is going to sign the delivery note. And once they accept the material, they are going to give a confirmation. And based on that confirmation, we can raise a bill invoice to the customer. To the customer so let's convert delivery note into an invoice now this is a stage where the sales will be recognized uh, again in this form no changes are, are required all the information will be carried forward from the earlier stage however uh, this is a very important transaction from the PL point of view because the sales has been recognized so let's see the impact in balance sheet and PNL. First, I will go to the PNL. In the PNL, uh, since sales has been recognized, so my sales figure has gone up from two lakh four thousand something to two lakh thirty six thousand five hundred rupees. Cost of goods sold remains same as like earlier stage. However, now my in this situation, in this current case, my sales is more than expenses, so I'm having a profit of sixteen thousand five hundred rupees. 
Now this profit will be carried forward into balance sheet. So if I see the balance sheet here, uh, my debtors are there because the material has been sent to them, bill has been sent to them. Uh, we have not received the money, so we are having account receivable. So this much money is expected from the customer, 38,350 rupees. This amount includes the material cost or the uh, price of the product and the taxes. Uh, and asset side, no other change. However, on liability side, our tax liability has gone up from 18,360 to 21,285 because now the sales has been recognized. Also, the profit from PNL has been carried forward here. Uh, this was after the sales invoice was raised. So let's go ahead from the sales invoice. The next stage is the making, getting the payment from the customer. So once we get a payment, we can make a payment entry here. There are some companies who make a payment request also, which goes to the customer. Since the payment request is only a paper uh, movement, so no much change will happen in balance sheet and PNL. In this video, I'm skipping that step and I'm going directly to the payment. So let's say we have received a check or online payment from the customers and let us check number and put some arbitrary number of uh, 09 and with today's date. Once I save and submit my payment entry, it will recognize the money moment and that will obviously have an impact on balance sheet because my bank account will get impacted which is a balance sheet item. On my PNL side, much, not much change will happen. So let's first start with the PNL. As we say, sales is remain same and cost of goods also remain same. The profit also remains same as with reference to the previous step. I will go to the balance sheet. In the balance sheet now, since I received the money, so my bank account, which was earlier 16,400. 70 rupees has gone up to 54,820. My debtors has gone out from the balance sheet because the payment has been made. The stock in hand will remain same as after the stage of delivery note. And on liability side, again, everything remains same as like uh, the stage of invoicing. And my, PL, my profit, and profit has been carried forward from PL 16,500 rupees. Also, I can see this material movement in my stock in hand where we can see at today's this 28,000 rupees of material movement has happened, uh, which is again the cost of goods sold. So this is all I hope uh, you could able to enjoy and understand the selling cycle. If you have any doubts, you can always refer the ERP next documentation for selling cycle. Thank you very much.